It is a beloved and classic children's book by author Roald Dahl and this week the BFG premieres on the big screen in Australia. Catherine Tulich caught up with the film's legendary director and producer Steven Spielberg and the movie's very young star Ruby Barnhill after it debuted at the Cannes Film Festival last month. Bone cruncher, child chewer, meat dripper, gizzard gulper, butcher boy. Please don't eat me. You think because I am a giant that I'm a man gobbling cannibal. <laughs> what a wonderful way to experience this film here at the Cannes Film Festival. It was very magical last night. Was it a great for you as well? It was great. I love the audience, you know, participation in the movie. And of course the reaction was spectacular and we were really, really yeah. thrilled and moved to tears by it. I know, when you get like that standing ovation and people clapping, I mean, that must still thrill you, right? Oh my God, it just, it just fills you up with, with just people saying, what 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 what, the, what we did had had touched them in a in a, in a yeah, way I was, that I was literally yeah. at the end of the film when the music was playing. I know that my parents were trying to hold back their tears, or at least my mum definitely wasn't. I was also trying to hold back my tears. It was very, it was really uh, an emotional day for me. Yeah. So but Mark, Mark Rylands hadn't seen it ever yeah. until last night, and my wife hadn't seen it, and my daughter Destry, my youngest daughter, hadn't seen it. So. Uh, so it was just great to, to enjoy it through their eyes, too. I bet, exactly. I mean, what was, I mean, you, you have many stories to t tell and have told many stories. What was special about this for you personally that you really wanted to make this story? When I read the book to my kids, I always responded to um, what an outsider and an outcast BFG was and, and, and what an orphaned outcast Sophie was. And the fact that they found common ground to build a trusting friendship from very sad places, and then to find strength together to stop the giants from doing their bad deeds. And it, it just had tremendous, all fairy tales, all, all really classic fairy tales, have very simple roots, deep but simple, and, and, and easy to feel, um, um, immediately have an emotional response to. And that's what BFG always gave me. And I thought it also was a wonderful, there were so many value lessons in BFG about embracing and celebrating the differences between us. I mean, obviously people, because of the, the association too with obviously Melissa Matheson writing this beautiful script, people are thinking about E.T., not that they are really related, but I guess back to that, the time of E.T. when you were making films like that, do you feel sort of any sense as well that there's a connection in some ways? I don't really, I've never really seen the connection between E.T. and the BFG except it's, it's letters that describe the, you know, it's, it's the capital letters that describe the title. And uh, because, B, because E.T. Is a, is, is a realistic movie, it takes place in a realistic mm. suburb, in a real house with real earthbound characters and the extraordinary E.T. comes into this world. This is a complete polar opposite. Sophie goes into giant country, into dream country, into extraordinary world that doesn't really exist in any known way. And, and so it, it, it may have, have, have a kind of a similarity in its opposites, but I never really, in the same breath, except Melissa connects, I guess she connects both universes just through her own art. But beyond that, I don't see the similarities. I mean, you've had to find a Sophie, and uh, so tell me about right. how you found your wonderful Sophie. <laughs> patience, patience. I found her by just being patient, yeah. and not. I, I was. I didn't think I was going to find her. I was at the end of my casting. I'd been casting for seven months. Nina, Nina Gold, the casting director in the UK, had been all over the world in every English language country, and we had three, four hundred girls reading for the part. Had not found her. I I didn't know what we were going to do because we were on our way to production and we did not have a Sophie until I saw Ruby's reading, yeah. and immediately asked her to come to Berlin where I was shooting Bridge of Spies, and she came to Berlin and she just showed up. She walked into the room. She looked at me, looked me in the eye, looked my wife in the eye. My wife and her began to have a conversation, which I videoed, and t five minutes later I said, Sophie has walked into my life. It was just a wonderful moment. And it's your first film, right? Yeah, this is. It is my first film. So you couldn't have a better guide teacher oh than my gosh. this man yeah. here, it's, right? It's absolutely insane to know that yeah. I'm working with the director who's made so many incredible, imaginative, and um, really well-appreciated films, because 
Um, on set, I always thought of Stephen and still do think of Stephen as a really close, close friend. And um, But then last night, uh, when I was on the red carpet, I realised how many people really appreciate his films and how many people really appreciate him. And so it, it felt like I kind of... It was really uh, magical and it was an honour to be working with somebody like that. I'm sure.